Hey kiddos, it's Mrs. Barhorst and we are ready for phonics. Today is lesson 46 and it's Monday so we're going to go over the letter cards and the picture cards. So you can repeat after me or you can say it with me but I do want you to say it, okay? Alright, final stable syllable B-L-E. Final stable syllable P-L-E. Final stable syllable D L E. Final stable syllable G L E. Final stable syllable T L E. Final stable syllable F L E. All right. Digraph O O. Digraph TH. Digraph CK. Very good. Digraph CH. Combination OR. Combination AR. Combination QU. Combination ER. Combination IR. Combination WH. Combination UR. I'm going to sneak some suffixes in here. Suffix ING happening now. Suffix LESS, -E less, which means without. Suffix S, more than one. In suffix ed, it's already happened. Sounds like ed, d, or t in a word. Here's your picture cards. Shark, sh, good. Say it with me. Cheese, ch. Chef, sh. Bird, er, in the middle of a word. Dollar, er. Ruffle, full. Bubble, bull. Say it with me. Bottle, tull. Good. Bugle, gull. Candle, dull. Staple, pull. Quilt, qua. Very good. Star, r. Doctor, er. Here's the first sound of or. Horse or rose z anchor k thimble f turtle er in the middle of a word butter er at the end of the word. All right, let's go on to our review words. Let me give you a second to get out this page. We're looking at page 46, the spelling and high frequency practice. All right, review word number one, steep. The mountain is very steep. Repeat steep. Good, write it. E, bumblebee party, e, e. Check yours with mine when you're ready. All right, number two, repeat is snack. Good, snack. Go ahead and write. Check with mine. Now, how did you know the k in the final position was ck and not just a k? Because the a is a short sound and it's a short word. Very good. All right, the next word is a final stable syllable in it. The word is stumble. Repeat stumble. Very good. You don't want to trip and stumble. Go ahead and write. Uh, mm, Three letters represent that bowl, final stable syllable. Check with mine. Remember, a final stable syllable is called a final stable syllable because it's in the final position. It's stable, unchanging, and it's a syllable all on its own. 
Here's your sight word practice. Number four is want. Repeat. Good. Write it. Check with mine. All right. Number five is been. Repeat been. You have been to the grocery store. Write it. Check with mine, and if I go too fast, just pause the video, write it, and then check with mine. And number six is bush. Repeat bush. Write it. And check with mine. All right, kiddos, I'm going to go ahead and Make sure you check those, but I'm going to cover them back up so we can focus on the lesson of the day. I'd like you to echo these words with me. See if you can tell what they have in common or the same. Please repeat cake, good, like, and woke. What do all these words have in common? Think about the final position, cake, like, woke. I hope you're thinking that they all end in the k sound, and if you're thinking that, you'd be correct. Let's look at these words and see what is making that k sound. Here's the word cake, like, and woke. What do you see that is making the k sound in the final position of these words? Say it if you know it. K-E. K-E is correct. Look at the letter right before the K in each word. What are those letters right before the K? A, I, O. Those letters are vowels. Very good. And are they short or long? K-A-K, I-K, O-K, woke. They are long. Okay, we spell the k sound with the letters K-E when the sound comes after a long vowel sound. So if it's short, it would have been C-K, but it's a long vowel, so it's K-E. When we spell the k sound this way, the E is silent. Why do you think we need this silent E? To make that vowel long, that's right. We need the silent E in order to make the vowel long. I'm going to add this information to our final k spelling rule and I'll show you that so you can check your spelling when you hear the k sound in the final position. Okay, I'll show you that now. I have to hide one because I kind of wrote one ahead. No peaky. I'll just hold it down there. Please fit. Fit, 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 fit. If I add one more higher I might be able to get it all in. Let's see. All right, so this is our final k spelling rules. We know we spell k in the final position with a ck after a short vowel. With a k, k in the final position after a consonant or a vowel diagraph, like milk, book, and week. Now today we're going to add the, la uh, the third, it's not actually the last one, but if you hear a k in the final position after a long vowel, it's spelled k-e, like broke, like, and make. Okay, these are so important because this is something that's often misspelled in the English language, but if you know these rules, which I did not know in second grade, you'll be just fine. Okay, now let's take a listen, and I want you to listen to the next words I'm going to say. Okay, we're going to move on to something different. We'll come back to this. So repeat after me and listen to the final position. Give, have, Solve, live, and move. Okay. What do you hear in the final position? The v sound. Very good. The v sound. All right. So I'd like to show you what these words look like. Give, have, solve, live, and move. What letters do each of these words have at the end? Okay, they have a V-E. What sound do those letters V-E make? 
just v. English words never end with just the letter V. Instead, they always end with the letters VE. This means that when you're spelling words that end with the V sound, you should spell them with a VE. Sometimes this makes a word tricky to read because you think that E is this silent E, the sneaky E. In words like these, we know the E is not a sneaky E. It's just because the vowel sound is short and not long. And if you remember, the sneaky E makes a vowel sound long. Okay? So let me repeat that a little bit to make a little bit more sense. Okay? The V in the final position in an English word cannot just be a V. It's V-E. The reason it's a little strange to us is because it looks like it's I consonant E when the E is silent and makes it a long. Okay? So that would be gyve if you followed that rule. But because there's a spelling v in the final position spelling rule, we know that it just has the E there because no English word ends in just a V. Okay? So let me show you what that final spelling v sound rule looks like. It's pretty simple. When a word has the final sound v, it is spelled V-E, like in the words have, wave, leave, live, hive, and solve. Okay, so this is just one. The k sound in the final position has a lot of different options. But this is our only option for the v in the final position. Okay? So we are going to need to talk about the different ways that we write the sounds when we're doing our sound banks. So back to the k in the final position. Now when you hear the k in the final position, it's represented with a k, comma c, but in the final position it's ck after a short vowel, k after a consonant or a vowel digraph, and your other option is ke after a long vowel. Now when you hear the v sound, we are going to write it like this. It could just be a v in the initial or the medial position, but in the final position it's represented with a ve because no English word ends in just a v. Okay, so back to that workbook page. Number seven. All right, number seven. My paper is huge here. All right, so we're just going to go straight for writing some words with those rules in them. So new sounds and words, let's take a look at number seven. Carve. Repeat carve. Good, like you carve a pumpkin. Go ahead and write k -r -v. No English word ends in just a V, so I'm going to put an E there. Go ahead and check with mine. All right, number eight. Solve. Repeat. Solve. Very good, right? Mm. It's got to have an E. Check with mine. And our last one is also going to practice with that v in the final position. It's the word wave. Repeat wave. I wave. Write it. And check with mine. So whenever you're finger spelling and the last sound is v, you have to remember that rule to put an e at the end. Please do this with your teacher at home, your high frequency word practice box. And we're going to move on to the worksheet of the day, 46. It has both rules along the top here. And I like to really pay attention to those. They're right there. So spelling with K-E and V-E. Remember, here's your choices. You've got C-K, you've got K, and you've got K-E. When you have the K in the final position, C-K is with a short vowel. Just a K with a consonant or a vowel digraph. A K-E after a long vowel. So let's just focus on that through here, okay? So number one, W short vowel I N. N is a consonant. So I use the K when it follows a consonant. 
So I'm going to put a K here, and I know that word is wink. Wink. All right, number two. Number two. Look at the letter right before the K sound, and it's the letter R. R is a consonant. So a consonant uses the K to represent the K sound in the final position. So I'm going to put a K there, and that's mark, like a check mark. All right, number three. Number three ends, um, ends in a K sound. We know that. That's the blank spot. But right before it is a short E eh sound, a short vowel. So I know the K in the final position after a short vowel is represented by CK. And that is deck, like a deck of cards. Number four, T long A. A long vowel right before the K in the final position. Long vowel is represented by KE. That's what we talked about today. So put a KE on that blank, and that turns the word to take. Okay? Please do five, six, seven, and eight on your own. Pause me if you need more time. And here is your answers for the last few. I'm going to rip this out, guys. Ah, I ripped it. All right, the last few that you did on your own, snack, C-K, brick, C-K, both have short vowels, shake, K-E, long vowel, and clerk, just a K, because it's got an R, a consonant. Now here's our next rule, spelling with V or V-E. Spell the vinyl V sound with V-E. Spell the v sound in any other position with just a V. So when it's in the final position, V-E. Anywhere else, just a V. Okay, there's your two options. So this blank is in the initial position. So vet, V, is going to be represented with just a V. Okay. Now number 10, it's in the final position, the blank. The V is in the final position. No English word ends in just a V, so I know the V is represented by V-E. Right. Number 11, S-A blank. That final position is missing. And I know the V in the final position in an English word is V-E, which changes the word, or the, makes the word save. Go ahead and finish this one your own. Pause the video if you need some extra time. Welcome back. Let's check your work. Vest, just a V. Verb and bat, just a V. Invest in the medial position, just a V. And dive in the final position, a VE, because no English word ends in just a V. Okay, if you think you need more practice or your family would like you to practice more at home, please feel free to do the back of the page. The directions are the same as the front. So there's some spelling rules for you today, kiddos, that are going to really help you in spelling words that you don't know how to spell. Thanks so much. Bye, guys.